What is initiative? The ability to assess and initiate things independently. Well, yeah, but that's not the definition we're looking for. The power or opportunity to act or take charge before others do. Ah, that's more fitting. In Chivalry 2, there are invisible principles that govern the game's combat system meant to guide a player's actions. The broad term referring to which player can attack the other player first is called initiative. In the purest sense of the word, having initiative is having the ability to attack the enemy before they can attack you. Unfortunately, Chivalry 2 has a lot more mechanics than the slashers of the past, and as a result, the idea of initiative being as strict as it once was is gone. Today, we'll be going over all things initiative. As explained, initiative is your ability to attack the enemy before they can attack you. Initiative is obtained by performing certain game mechanics. By committing to these specific actions, we can gain initiative over our enemy. Obviously, this works vice versa as well, but what actions give you initiative? Well, to start, reposts grant initiative. If you repost an enemy attack, your attack is guaranteed to land before their follow-up. Counters also guarantee initiative. If you properly counter the enemy, your attack will land before they can throw out their own. Lastly, successful attacks grant initiative. If you land damage on a player, minus kicks since they don't flinch, then your followed up combo is guaranteed to land. That's it. Yep, it's that simple. But let's be real. If it were that simple, my channel wouldn't get any views. While reposting, countering, and successful attacks are the main way you acquire initiative in a fight, it's important to understand the limits of initiative. Initiative does not grant feints, heavy attacks, or fainted heavy attacks. Only normal reposts and counters are guaranteed by initiative. While this doesn't mean that you can't faint or transition your repost slash counter into a heavy, it just means it won't be guaranteed to land before the enemy strikes. There are also some instances where it can seem that players bypass initiative. For example, some players attempt to jab reposts, but this can be managed by performing a quick or delayed reposts. You can learn more about that in this video linked in the above card. Another example of people bypassing initiative is by jabbing between successful combos. While okay. some weapons combo faster than jabs, most don't. Gotcha. In this case, your best option is to simply outrange the incoming jab through proper spacing, or just cancel to parry, which will allow you to block and repost the jab, once again reclaiming initiative. There you go. Either way works. The last stipulation you'll need to be wary of is that all of this mainly involves your relationship with the fighter you're reacting to. For example, while I may have gained the initiative on one fighter by reposting his attack, that does not mean I've become immune to the actions of his buddy. Initiative is very much a one-to-one -one relationship. Unless you happen to repost slash counter slash successfully attack multiple individuals at once simultaneously. And with that, we're done. If you have any questions, feel free to ask or book a session. Have a great day.